Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with another case of Tribute Baseball. Six box, pick your team two. Some good baseball here uh, on opening day of the baseball season. Happy opening day, everybody. We're celebrating 15% off the entire website, so jazbeescasebreaks.com tonight only. Thanks, everybody. There's Kayshawn in the chat. Yep, Last Bond Mojo, Cubs 2, good luck. Cubs are starting soon, I think. Cubs Rangers. Thanks to all the people who bought their team straight up. We pulled the remaining teams for those random number block, serial number style breaks right here. We did the video in a separate video. Here are the results. So it's a serial number style break involving just these teams right here. And there's the fresh case. Good luck. Rex, you hit an Ellie auto earlier this morning in this? I don't think we were live early earlier in the morning. So I don't know I don't know how you would hit an Ellie Della Cruz. Maybe you went to your local hobby shop and you picked up a box of tribute. Surely that's what happened. Harry thinks Ellie's a fraud. Sell him quick, he says. Is he a fraud? All right, so I'm gonna slide, do, slide out of the base cards first. Let's switch back to the baseball game. Clemson's, Clemson at Arizona in a commercial. Reds did play today. Ellie De La Cruz went one for two, couple runs scored, a walk and a couple strikeouts. Spencer Sear much better. Spencer Sear dead to have a better day. Two for three, two RBIs, one strikeout. Reds beat the Nats eight to two, by the way. be a surprising team this year maybe with some of the punch that they have in that lineup right Spencer Steer Ellie De La Cruz Fraley Jonathan Indy at the top of the lineup Will, Will Benson I think um, Nick Martini by the way 33 year old Nick Martini in the DH spot two for four five RBIs a couple homers So yeah, there may be some non-numbered base cards that we'll do some randomizing for at the end. So I'm gonna make sure I'm not missing any numbered cards back here. The numbers are on the front. Oh, there it is, 38 out of 50, Andrew Abbott. I think rookie cards are relatively uh, not common as well. Maybe one a box. Uh, Reds, Scott picked up the Reds outright in Pick Your Team 2. Here you go, Scott. Uh, I'm going to organize myself here. We'll do that. All right. Now your hits. There's Freddie. And there's Adley Rushman. 29 out of 99. Baseball season, ladies and gentlemen. Baseball is back. Adley, how did you do? Almost everybody played today. Orioles beat the Angels 11-3. Adley, 
Two for four, three runs scored, two RBIs and a walk. Love to see it. Um, there's the hologram sticker right there, KV119064. If you go to MLB.com slash authentication, I think you're able to, you're able to uh, look up that series of letters and numbers and see, you know, and then go to like baseball reference and see what, if anything, he did that day. Nice, Tyler with Adley on his fantasy team. And John Smoltz is our first autograph. 64 out of 75. Smoltzy going to Josh and the Braves. Anyone have any uh, fancy faves, fancy sleepers that they really like this year? I actually have Jake Fraley on my team and Ryan Mountcastle as well. Reds, Orioles, guys. I feel like they could be some solid contributors. Speaking of the Reds, there's Joey Votto and Ellie Dela Cruz. 47 out of 75. Dual relic. Both Reds, both going to Scott. I want to switch the game over to Cubs at Rangers. And there's Keith Hernandez, nice, great mustache. 44 out of 75. Mets are a number block team. So if you're not familiar with the random number block format, we go by this digit right here. Number four, that four. Not the first four, but that four right there. So that's gonna go to Chris, who's got number four. So Chris will get, for that big group of teams right there, four out of, out of whatever. 20, 14 out of whatever, 24 out of whatever, 34 out of whatever, 44, 54, 64, 7, 40, 45. So on and so forth. All right, behind Jose Altuve is a triple relic, Christian Yelich. 174 out of 199. Brew Crew, that's a random number block team. So that's another one for Brewers 4, and that is for Chris. And we got a 3 out of 10 Big Mac. Mark McGuire, that's A's edition, and that's a random number block team. So that goes to A's 3. That's gonna be for Josh Smith with that extra spot he won in that random number block. Nice first box. Is that a, David, is that a uh, Seinfeld reference? Funny thing I was reading that Javier Baez is always booed in Chicago, but when he plays, plays the Sox, they booed him, he, they, they booed him and then he hit single, sole second, scored, only run of the game. Uh, Kevin likes Encarnacion Strand, a sleeper on the team. Another Reds player, I believe, right? Reds youngster. Should we whip around the league a little bit? Uh, Braves, Mets were postponed. Braves, Phillies were postponed. Looks like they're going to make that up tomorrow. Uh, Yankees came back and beat the Astros. I think these are two base cards here. Yeah. Beat the Astros five to four, even though Astros uh, put 13 hits on the board, wow. Uh, in extras, our first extra inning game of the year, Pirates beat the Marlins in extras in Miami six to five. Detroit, Tariq Skubal, uh putting up scoreless innings. Someone, I, I heard someone put tab Tariq Skubal as a Cy Young candidate, but but uh, I don't know how many innings he pitched, but he did not give up any earned runs. Tigers win 1-0. Uh, 
Tigers might be a surprise team this year, Terry thinks. Twins beat the Royals 4-1. What's that, a fan of my jacket? Uh, Blue, Blue Jays beat the... Oh, is that from, from week one? Switch out. I oh, you got switch uniforms, right, for, for San Diego State. Blue Jays beat the Rays 8-2. to My Dodgers beat the Cardinals 7-1. to Padres beat the Giants 6-4. to Reds beat the Nationals 8-2. to Orioles pounded on the Angels 11-3. to Cubs Rangers on Thursday Night Baseball right now. And then the late games, Guardians at A's, Rockies at Diamondbacks, uh, Red Sox at Mariners. Almost a full slate if it wasn't for those... Uh, if it wasn't for those, uh, whatchamacallit, rainout games. Steele should be on the Cyan candidate list. I think he was, was, was he a finalist last year? Maybe he wasn't a finalist last year, but he had a great season last year. Nice, here's a Yamamoto rookie card for Scott and the Dodgers. Got roughed up in his first start in Korea. Let's see how his second start looks later uh, this weekend. And there's Joey Votto, 23 out of 75. Scott with the Reds. Actually, there's Justin Steele right now. I have him on fantasy team, Rex. We got a rookie. We got Johan Rojas, 48 out of 150 for the Fightin' Phils. Phillies, Greg K with the Fightin' Phils. Mm. Justin Steele strikes out Corey Seager. All right, behind Julio is... Cal Rukin Jr., Derek Jeter, 10 out of 75. Orioles, Chris, Yankees, Matt Smith. So that'll be a randomizer between those two teams. I think these really, I thought I needed 130s. It's like 180. There's Otani as a Dodger. And Tim Rain, 66 out of 99. That'll be uh, Nationals, David H. for the Nets. Was that two K two strikeouts in a row? I did. I don't know how many of those were actually on the list of of the number block team. So I, that's why I didn't didn't want people to think that those are the redemptions that they could win in the number block. So I did not say anything. There's Goldschmidt, 64 out of 75. Cardinals, that's going to be for Darren. Although someone said Ellie is a redemption, though. Or is not a redemption. And we got an Eddie Murray for the O's. Chris with the Orioles, 11 out of 50. Orioles had the majority sale or whatever approved. So that new owner might want to look to spend a little bit in, in the middle of the season or this off season, which could be good for the Orioles. I feel like they've not really invested in their their roster for a long time, or really anything in a long time. Nice Ozzy Albies, 69 out of 150. Piece of the jersey, hologram sticker, Josh Smith with the Braves. Another box.
I know, Rex. Keep rubbing in our face that you're getting hits from other breakers. I get it. Uh, it's a lock, though. Oh, there is a redemption, a blue redemption. All right, David, and look, Rex is even responding. He's just very quiet about it. No, no apology, no nothing. Unbelievable. It's another base car grant. Trout Auto would be nice, Alan. That'd be nice. There's Vlad Sr. Goldschmidt who hit a homer off glass now today. Ken Griffey Jr., Bregman, Trey Turner, George Brett, and McCutcheon to 25. That'd be for Ivan. Of course, our, our fault, our fault. There's Sal Freelich, rookie card for the Brewers. So that's a non-numbered card. So this will be part of that non-numbered group. Just FYI. Ronald Acuna Jr., Ozzy Albies, 25 out of 25. Both going to Josh and the Braves. And how about a John Kruk? 77 out of 99. Got some old school autos in here too. Greg K with the fight and fills. That was a fun team back in the day. That's what I thought too, Kevin. Clearly, clearly, Kevin, Rex cannot be trusted. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr., 7 out of 10. That's going to go to the Blue Jays. Blue Jays, 7. Blue Jays are a number block team. That'll be for Jamie. There's Andy Rodriguez for the Pirates, 29 out of 99. Rookie auto for Ivan and the Bucks. That is false. You made the statement, someone bought the spot afterwards. Now now, you're, now Rex is just trying to walk it back, buying spots from other breakers, then goes, oh, I don't have money for Jaspies, gotta wait till payday, sorry guys. In reality, bankroll is going to other guys. Bregman's going to Eugene Palmer with the Strohs. And the redemption behind Vlad Guerrero Jr. Congratulations, you are due to receive Tribute to the Threads Autograph Relic Red Parallel, which I think is to 10. Low number of, good luck everybody. C, Sin, Cincinnati, 
Joey Votto, nice. Scott Goodman with the Reds. Scott Goodman. Joey Votto's a good man. A good man. Nice guy from what from what the people say. Nice, there you go, Scott. Congrats. <laughs> I know you did, Rex. No, you can only eat one thing, the same thing every day. You can only watch one program, the same program every day. You can only drive the same way to work every day. You're only allowed to watch the same movie every day, eat the same thing every day, no other changes. Some good hustle by Christopher Morell here. Home. They had a home to third in second stat. I don't. I don't. I have no context for that. But I'm assuming it's very fast. I love stats with no context. They're like Christopher Morell went from home to third in 10.29 seconds or something like that. And I was just like, all right, cool. <laughs> like I don't know what the average speed is, so it gives me no context as to how fast that is. Thanks. Thursday Night Baseball. Good, Rex. I want you to feel that way. Feel shame. Votto, no, I don't think a Hall of Fame. Hall of Very Good, I want to say. Does 10, I mean, 10 seconds, did, did they say 10 seconds? But what if like the average was like, you know, nine seconds for an average ball player? Chris says Votto is in. 10 out of 99 Bo Jackson for the Royals. I think we did this exercise yesterday. No, I don't know. I actually did not see what, did anyone remember seeing what the speed was on the uh, Thursday Night Baseball? I'm looking at the Votto Baseball reference page, one MVP, uh, you know, if he maybe averaged 300 a season, maybe got some more hits. His similarity scores does have Edgar Martinez, Cepeda, and Freddie Freeman as similar batters. Maybe not first ballot. 64.5 career war is pretty solid. Maybe eventually he does get in. All right, onwards, the hits. We've got Manny Machado, Fernando Tatis Jr., 14 out of 75. Dual relic for Kenneth in the Padres. How about some tech? Jason Veritek, 43 out of 99. That is a number block team. Forty-three out of ninety-nine, so that'll go to Red Sox three, Boston three. That will be for Josh. I guess that that lifetime OPS at nine twenty is pretty good, though. <laughs> pretty darn good. He does have a lot of bold numbers, though, on the on the, on the Baseball Reference, right? 40 doubles, led the league in walks a number of times, led the league in OPS one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times, OPS twice, a few top three, top five, top three MVP finishes. 
but there's Joe Musgrove. I don't know about first ballot, but he might sneak in there. Chris Joe says no one Rizzo. He says no for Votto since he's a catcher. LOL. Oh, Rex. Silly Rex. Stay in your lane, Rex, if you want to try to get into this uh, argument. We're talking about first baseman Joey Votto. Catcher Joey Votto. This goes to uh, Kenneth and the Padres. Rex just executed a Charlie Brown trying to kick the football, but landed on his back. There's Fergie Jenkins. 144 out of 150. Speaking of the Cubs, that's going to go to Kayshawn and the Cubbies. All right, I think Chris is with me on the Rizzo, right? Yeah. Sorry, Rex, you're not going to get any sympathy from Chris. Isn't Fergie already in? Or no? There's a statue. I think they built a statue for him outside Wrigley. There is Mike Trout, 26 out of 150. Angels are a random number block team. That'll go to Angels 6. Alan Murdoch. With the, wasn't this the Trout you were looking for? I think Alan wanted ink, but. Rex, no one's gonna help you on Anthony Rizzo and Hall of Fame. Stop trying to, you're trying to make like fetch happen. Mean Girls reference. Alan wanted ink. All right, Derek Jeter reveals a Brian Wu, 30 out of 150. That's for Justin and the Mariners. Oh, nice, he is. There you go, I got the game on, Rex. Let's see how Wyatt Langford does. Is he wearing a debut patch? Let's look at his uni. He is. It's right on that front shoulder. Fergie, that's what I thought. Fergie Jenkins is in the Hall of Fame already. David, in the Hall of Fame already. 1991, says Jonathan. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Wyatt Langford did not have to spend very much time in the minors. And I guess really impressed in, uh, <laughs> Justin Seals like started to walk off the mound like he struck him out. But I think, um, but he played college, right? I think those college players usually spend, there's the strikeout, uh, usually spend a little less time in the minors, but 44 games is still pretty, pretty short, I think. So they must have really liked what they saw in those minor league games and what they saw in the off season and what they saw in the spring. What position is he playing? Is he in the outfield? Langford's a center fielder, says uh, says Oliver. They have him at DH today, though. Tavares is playing center field. Oh, that's quite a. They got a pretty solid outfield. I mean, 
Tavares, Carter, Duran, or uh, Carter, Adas Garcia. I mean, Wyatt Langford maybe not kicking anybody out there. But pop him in a DH, doesn't have to think about fielding, can just hit. We'll see how that works. There's Machado, 14 out of 50. How was the ravine today, Oliver? Let's go to Kenneth from the Padres. Dodgers with a nice W today. Only blemish on a glass now is... No, Seager is batting second today. Simeon, Seager, Josh Young, Adolis Garcia, Wyatt Langford, Heim, Jonah Heim, Ezekiel Duran, uh, Carter, and Tavares. It's a pretty great, pretty great lineup. There's Sal Perez, 154 out of 199. It's going to go to the Royals. That'll be for Tyler. I don't know who would usually be the DH. Let's look at the bench. I guess Jankowski, maybe? You know, Josh Smith, perhaps? Jared Walsh is on this team. MLB Game Day is not showing uh, Nathaniel Lowe as a as a potential bench player, but maybe I don't know. I guess it would be Nate Lowe, Nate Lau, Nate Lowe, Brandon Lau, Nate Lowe. Your Sal Perez. I like the MLB hologram sticker there. Worth looking up. MLB.com/authentication. There's Anthony Volpe. Nice second year Anthony Volpe. Forty-eight out of one hundred and fifty. This is twenty twenty-four. Tribute Baseball. He's in 2023 as rookies, I want to say. But still nice for Matt Smith and the Yankees. Ah, Lowe's on the IL, so that gives Langford the opportunity. And we got some Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw. Saw him in the uh, dugout. Mookie Betts, 137 out of 150. He's been looking good. Scott Goodman saw his homer on TV earlier today. Almost like a little three-quarter swing. A little pitch shot with the nine iron. Got it right over the left field wall. Scott Goodman with the Dodgers. Here's Kirsch again. And there's Christian and Carnacio Strand. 140 out of 150. This was Kevin's sort of sleeper fantasy baseball pick. This is going to go to Scott and the Reds. And, ooh, look at that. Three out of ten, Carlos Correa, a piece of the baseball. Look at the stitching right there. Is that from his MLB debut game? That's KV157906. This is worth a look. This is Astro, it's gonna to go to Eugene Palmer. There you go, Eugene. I'm gonna look this up for you, because I'm curious. Sorry, once again, KV157906. I can read that small print correctly on that hologram sticker. Wow. So listen to this. Um, I'm going to switch screens just for a second here. Actually, let me just show you the last hit so there's no, no funny business. Roger Clemens, 45 out of 99. That is Yankees edition, and that's going to go to Matt Smith. I'm going to flip screens for a second so you can everyone can see this. I think this is really cool. So that piece of the baseball, I guess there's 10 out there because it's 3 out of 10. There it is. Original hologram was uh, HZ, blah, 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 blah. Houston at Chicago White Sox, June 8th, 2015. The batter, Yorma Sanchez, pitcher Lance McCullers. Bottom of the third, foul tip. Carlos Correa, MLB debut, first career hit game. I don't know what the other is. 
The batter is not Yolmer Sanchez, but there's Carlos Correa, ML. Oh no, I think maybe this was, okay, I get it now. So the ball is from this play right here, but the game is from Carlos Correa's MLB debut game, first career hit game. I get it now. Initially, I thought it was gonna be the one he hit, but he probably has that in his house. Right, he's not giving that up. This is from the game he played in though, his debut game. That's still cool though. Nice, a baseball from his debut game. I feel like if it was actually his, his ball, we would absolutely not one touch it, Eugene, because what happens in a one touch, there's a lot of room for the car to rattle around, potentially damaging corners and edges during shipping. Penny sleeve and top load is really the best way to do it. That's why you don't one touch things to PSA either. Oh, nice. Got Josh Young mic'd up. Uh, I'd love those MLB hologram stickers. I'm sure it increases the price of, of a product, but I hope that in the future we'll start seeing more and more of those. Uh, more and more of those hologram stickers on more and more relics. I mean, I don't know if we can event. I don't know if we'd get to a place where every card could be like that. It'd be nice, but it'd be nice if we could see it a little more often, though. Yeah. Now I agree, Oliver. If glass now, I don't think the stuff is ever in question, right? It has hasn't really never been in question. It's can he, can he pitch more than 120 innings in a season without his arm falling off? Let me get these little blank cards out of the way here. 30 minutes, Thurman Munson. Three out of 99. Goes to Matt and the Yankees. Thank you, Eugene. Appreciate that. I'll be sure to pass that on to the team. All right, final set of hits. We got a two-team randomizer and then a randomizer for the non-numbered base card for that group of number block teams. Good luck, everybody. Happy opening day. We've got a couple Dodgers. Clayton Kershaw, Freddie, Freddie, 165 out of 199. Kershaw was in the dugout today. I think he's throwing a little bit, but I don't think he'll really ramp it up until you know, for a couple months. I think Walker Buehler's a lot closer. There's Jim Palmer. Six out of 75 going to Chris and the Orioles. Yeah, I'm 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 85% Joe tonight. And this is my third your Thursday, my Friday, Jonathan. I'm I do feel a little uh you know, like like anyone at the end of their work week. Probably running at 85% efficiency. There's a Jordan Lawler rookie card. Bobby Wood Jr., 124 out of 150. Yeah, so you get it, Jonathan. You get it. Yeah. 
All right, there's Juan So. How did Juan Soto do as a Yankee today? Let me go take a quick look. I think Verdue had the go-ahead sack fly at seventh inning. That ended up being the go-ahead run. Juan Soto, one for three, RBI, and a couple walks. All right. Oh, that's nice. You get a good Friday. Good Friday, everybody. Wait, good Friday today? Oh, tomorrow, good Friday. Friday, so today is your Friday, Thursday. Happy good Friday, everybody. And happy belated Ash Wednesdays and Palm Sundays and all, all that fun stuff. 97 out of 99, Adalas Garcia, Rangers. That's a number block team, so that'll go to Rangers 7. Jamie with Rangers 7. I get it, Jonathan. I'm picking it up. Picking up what you're putting down. Hank Aaron reveals a... Paul Goldschmidt, 67 out of 150. Ruining Tyler Glasnow's day. His, uh, his, his home debut, I guess. He pitched in one of the Korea games, but Goldschmidt hit a solo shot off Tyler Glass now. Cardinals, it's going to be for the Porter House State. And behind Corey Seager is George Kirby, 9 out of 50 for the Seattle Mariners. Part of that strong Mariners starting rotation. That's going to go to Justin. We'll see the Mariners in action a little bit later tonight. There you go, game. All right, some randomizing to do. Yeah, I got to take a look at that Corbin Burns box score. I was kind of hoping the Dodgers would, would have made a little trade for him, but that's right. Dodgers have enough. All right, so there's some new dice. Let's grab a couple lists here. Um, first one is going to be for the non numbered cards. So let's get the random number block group here. So one person will get all the non-numbered cards for those teams right there. And then we'll do the uh, dual relic randomizer between Baltimore and the New York Yankees. And we'll do one dice roll for both lists. And that's going to be six times. One out of five, six times. One, two, three, four, Five and six. Uh, and that'll be Chris. Chris Norville, you're going to get all the non numbered base cards, um, including some rookie cards possibly in the mix there. Six times for the dual relic. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's going to go to Baltimore. It's going to go to Chris Norville again. Good randomizer for you, Chris. And there you go, gang. Very nice break. Another case of tribute in the store. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserace.com. And I'll see you. I guess we'll do a recap. It's kind of a longer break. It's a sneaky long break. We'll do a quick recap of the hits. There was the dual relic. There's a quick recap. Pretty sure Kirby used a pitching toe? What's a pitching toe? There's the Joey Votto redemption. Some really nice stuff here. Old school guys, new school guys, Hall of Famers, current stars, you know, rookie cards, Yamamoto in his Dodger uniform. All sorts of good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next tribute break. Bye-bye.